Good morning, Metalheads Internet. Welcome to a new episode of the Metal Meltdown. And today, we're looking at the latest album from Pittsburgh metalcore crew, Modern Metal Innovators, Code Orange, entitled Underneath. The first time I came into contact with Code Orange would have been 2015 upon the release of their sophomore record, I Am King, an album that shocked me with its dreary, atmospheric, punishing take on modern metalcore. There's a certain aura and magic to that record that has yet to be recreated by anyone, let alone Code Orange, and perhaps knowing that they never could, Code Orange have since continued to expand into even weirder and even heavier territories. Take, for instance, their third studio album, Forever, which I would happily still rank as one of the most punishing experiences I've ever had listening to an album. And that really did open the floodgates for them. I mean, ever since the release of that album, they've gone on huge tours with Hatebreed, Kill Switch Engage, Anthrax, Gajira, System of a Down, they were nominated for a Grammy, they've done collaborations with JPEG Mafia, they've done music for WWE, Mortal Kombat 11. There is no other band that acts, looks, sounds, or destroys quite the way Code Orange do. Even literal metal gods like Slayer and King Diamond have a tough time trying to outperform Code Orange. How do I know? Because I saw Code Orange outperform those two bands at fucking Mayhem Festival 2015. Like seriously, they played a set at 1.30 in the afternoon and just decimated the audience. Not a single band for the rest of the day came even an inch close to delivering the sheer brutality and power gifted it to us by Code Orange that afternoon. With all this in mind, I was very excited to sink my teeth into a new Code Orange record, especially considering the incredibly disturbing marketing campaign behind this album and the blatant fact that they would be expanding on the industrial influences of the aforementioned Forever and their two-song EP, The Hurt Goes On. I had envisioned something manic, something hectic, something violent, and I wasn't wrong. I, I definitely wasn't wrong on those levels, but what Code Orange have delivered to me is beyond what I could have ever thought or conjured in my mind. It's beyond anything I feel like I could have expected from them, even despite their incredible reputation. It is an absolute sonic nightmare of insane proportions and, yeah, possibly a contender for album of the year. From start to finish, I was on the edge of my seat as if I was watching some kind of high-velocity blockbuster thriller. There were several moments across this record where I openly said, okay, I think I've got this figured out, I think I know the blueprint, I think I know the twists and turns, and then immediately upon saying this, Code Orange would grab me by the shirt, slam my head on the table, and tell me that I was a fucking idiot. It's very tempting for me to say that this left me punished much like forever, and you would not be objectively wrong if you were to feel the same way, but comparing this to forever feels like such a waste of time and breath, because underneath is just so much bigger and crazier in almost every way. As the band is pulling so many different influences from so many different sounds, so many different eras, so many different artists. Take for instance the track Swallowing the Rabbit Hole, which sounds like the drug-induced nightmare of Marilyn Manson with its psychotic vocal assaults, its almost random glitchy riff breaks. It's weird, static, almost angular beats. It's incredibly forceful, violent, malevolent energy. And it's horrifying lyrics sound like something I would find scrawled on the inside of an asylum. Stating it's even deeper than before, the whole has swallowed us, the prayer in control. I've seen the other side, it's darker than it was. It stretches what I love until it falls apart. With the soldiers and all the suffering, all good men, but the smothering of what's undone runs like blood. A synesthesia-filled needle pokes through the skin. How can I be so certain that this was more than the sum of our urges? And the album only continues to get weirder, darker, crazier, and more unpredictable as it goes on. Take, for instance, the track You and You Alone, where the band adopts this kind of grind-like energy on par with classic Napalm Death, with some dark thrash-like rhythm guitars and some spastic cymbals ringing throughout, giving it this extra momentum, this extra toxic bite. Hands down, one of the most raucous and punishing cuts on the record, and perhaps one of the most raucous and punishing cuts Code Orange have ever delivered. 
contrasted almost horrifyingly by preceding track In Fear, which feels a lot more methodical, a lot more twisted, as it practically lurches at you like some kind of symbiote trying to possess your body. You have a track like Cold Metal Place, which pulls a lot from the world of Gojira, pairing it with these slow, drawling, industrial groove metal guitars, Code Orange's natural hardcore violence, creating something that I would honestly call the sonic adaptation of a brain aneurysm. Even when this album looks to objectively less extreme influences for some kind of guidance, it's still some pretty harrowing and batshit crazy material. Take for instance the track Who I Am, which sounds like the twisted fusion of early garbage with some of the more modern, melancholic material of Deftones. Or on the track Sulfur Surrounding, inarguably the album's most powerful piece atmospherically and emotionally, with its thunderous bursts of guitars, its weird angsty melodies, and its eventual breakdown into pure sonic madness. All eventually leading up to title track and closing number Underneath, ending the album on such a cathartic and powerful note. I did initially think that having the most inherently simplistic cut on the album closing the album would be a little weird, but my fears were dwelled as soon as that chorus kicked in. It's so remarkably well balanced too, I mean, despite having such a huge emphasis on industrial metal, on an inherently synthetic mechanical sound, this still feels very human. I, I still feel Code Orange in this. Despite peering back to the 90s so much, it still feels so modern. Despite looking at all of these weird, grungy alternative melodies, all of these trippy, weird, spacey soundscapes, it still feels so visceral, so cutthroat, so violent, so bloody. As noisy and psychotic and evil and manic and crazy as this album gets, it's never unlistenable. That's a particularly rare and special feat in the world of extreme music. I am literally sent albums every single day where the entire gimmick is we're just extreme for the sake of being extreme, cough, cough, piss grave. And here comes Code Orange delivering on the promise of something extreme and still delivering something intelligent, refined, ambitious, diverse, significant. Honestly, the only thing holding me back from giving this album a perfect 5 out of 5 score is the simple fact that there are a couple songs that, while not terrible, do not live up to the standards set by these other tracks, those being Autumn and Carbine and Back Inside the Glass. Two tracks that are pretty heavy and enjoyable on their own, but in context of the rest of this record just kind of look like a creative lull point in the record. They just don't have that same oomph, that same fire, that same sharp killer edge. But hey, who the hell is going to argue with a 4.5 out of 5? Especially considering that I think a lot of people thought that forever might be this lightning in a bottle moment, that Code Orange could not move beyond it, that they could not get bigger, weirder, crazier. Those people were stupid. Y'all shoulda listened to me. Y'all shoulda listened to me. I called this years ago, and I want all of you to admit it right fucking now, because I was right. I was fucking right. This is seriously an incredible record. Code Orange fans are gonna go apeshit for this. Fans of modern hardcore and metalcore are gonna go apeshit over this. Fans of industrial looking for something a little bit more spicy and adventurous out of that genre are gonna be really into this. If you haven't exactly been wooed by previous Code Orange albums already, I would still say to give this album a shot because I promise you you're not going to hear anything quite like this emerging from the mainstream metal realm literally until the next Code Orange project. I really hope with that in mind that underneath is the jolt in the arm, the wake-up alarm that mainstream metal desperately needs right now. There is so much music in that realm that is so tired, so lazy, so predictable, and it's just making all of us look bad at this point. If you didn't already think the Code Orange were the best thing happening in modern mainstream metal, you do now. And if you still don't, you're fucking wrong. End of story. 4.5 out of 5. A seriously fantastic record. Holy shit, I can't wait till this thing shows up on vinyl. I am going to get so fucking high and have so many fucking nightmares. And I'm so excited. And that is it for the Metal Mounts. I'm not an expert, nor do I claim to be. So what do you think? Do you like this record? Do you not like this record? And what do you want to hear from me next? Thank you for watching. Make sure you press subscribe so you get updates on the Metal Mount Downy fucking immediately. And you have yourself a fantastic fucking day.